Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal? Automating clips to sequences in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, this is a great way to take a bunch of clips and time them with music on the timeline. You can use it for a lot of different uh, uses, but I'll show you how I use it here. Let me show you the final result first. Now these are still images, but these could easily have been video clips. It doesn't matter. Titles, graphics, this is a bunch of stuff that you automate to the timeline. So let's start with a new sequence. I'm just going to create a blank sequence here and call this Getty. Over here on the left, I've got a folder that is full of a bunch of images that I took with my Adobe buddies uh, when we visited the Getty Museum. So if you have multiple objects selected over here on the left, this becomes available. Use uh, its automate to sequence. And we're going to automate to the sequence we created. When I click here, we have an option of the selection order or the sort order. So I could have ordered that by name, by date. However, I'm just going to leave it as selection. If you choose sequentially, then it just puts them in one after another based on their uh, their size and you can have or their duration and you can have an overlap but what I want to do and if I just click on that and say okay then now I have a bunch of clips that are automated to the sequence and they also have a default transition but I want to actually add music in here and I've got a little clip in here and let's drop that in and what I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to the beat of the music and I'm going to put in markers by hitting the M key on my keyboard. I'm hitting the M key about every bar. I'll do a half bar on this turnaround. So you get the idea. It doesn't have to be on the bar. If this was faster paced, I could do it on the beat every single one. So now that I have some markers in here, I'll add, we'll click on the, our JPEG folder, automate the sequence, and this time we'll choose at unnumbered markers. And when we click OK, oh, I need to roll back to the beginning and then select our folder of JPEGs, automate to sequence. This time we're not going to choose sequentially, we'll choose at unnumbered markers and we'll use the order that's in there. Click OK and now they change. And each one is changing on the beat. And there's a little turnaround coming up where I did a half bar. All right, so what if you had something in here you didn't like? Like these two are two duplicated. What happens if I don't want to disturb this, I don't want to go through the whole thing again, I just want to replace that one and keep the edit point, open up my JPEG images and let's just grab this one, make sure the clip you want to re replace is selected, grab the clip you want to replace it with, hold the Alt key on Windows, Option on Mac, 
boop, and it flips over there, and now it's replaced and all the timing is there. Okay, now when we just play this back, these look very boring. I mean, we could select them if you want and press Control D, Command D on uh, the Mac, and now we're gonna have a transition between them. But you'll notice in my original version, I actually had movement inside there where I was pushing in to each one. And that's pretty easy to do too. I'll just grab my first clip and go to the effects controls. I'll go to the beginning, open up motion and add a scale property. So 100% and then at the end, I'll change this to 125. And now when this one plays, it opens up. I can right click and save this as a preset. I've already done that over here. And I called this push in 125%. Now when I grab the rest of my clips, drag this push in 125%. You see they're all selected. Now each one will push in at 125%. Pretty cool. And if we go to my example here with the film dissolve, You can see it adds so much more life to this. Oh, I should have replaced that one clip. But now I've got my cuts happening on the beat. They have a nice film dissolve in there, a nice little push in. If I save different uh, values, so instead of pushing in or, or enlarging 125%, maybe I reduce to 80% as long as you have the room in the clips. Now I brought these in at, at a reduced size just to fill the frame quickly, but these could be full size giant, you know, 5,000 pixel images that you're pushing in and moving in. So you could automate clip to sequence to the markers, add the music, and then you could add a bunch of pushes in and pushes out. So you could literally be done this in under a couple of minutes. Uh, and, and if this is, you know, something you need to push out really quick, that'll save you an enormous amount of time. All right. Hopefully you found this informative. If you have them, please click on the subscribe button for video revealed. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then get on over to adobe.com and download your free 30-day trial. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.